seem to know what we're doing and where we're going now, sort of. What if you could explore a world across an ocean and full of culture? From here, it's all uphill. Right. Stair step for 2001. A place where the mountains are high. And I am beat. Damn it. I am happy. Woo! All the make it great in spring 2009, our team of three explored 23,390 foot Marunse in Nepal. This is our story from the jungle to the heights of the Himalayas. We are still stuck here in the Good Times Clubhouse at 21,500 feet. This is the best view we've had in a while. This is Ski the Himalayas for Runse 2009. It's all about the dreads. That's you get, right. You John guys are just Miller. Jealous. <laughs> John Miller, take it away. This is your episode to shine. Where are we? What is going on? Uh, we are climbing up the northeast rib of Varunse. Um, coming up, this is day four of our climb. There's Makalu in the background. And we are actually technically climbing. We are excited. <laughs> yeah, the terrain is steep here. We are on an expedition. This is a first ascent. No one has ever climbed this terrain here before. And this is John Miller's first expedition to the High Himalaya, and here he is just slaying it. And now a storm has moved in. And we're still climbing. <laughs> and this would be yours truly. I am Ben Clark, and we are also joined today by Josh Butson, the third member of our team and guide oh. and climber extraordinaire. You can see how the rock quality is, is that a couple of rocks just kind of tumbling down. And <laughs> I'm your cameraman, and the camera didn't like me. Yeah, John had it completely zoomed in the entire time on accident. And uh, at high altitude, we're at about 21,000 feet doing this climb now. And the rock is very poor. It's really weird, a little manky in spots. And uh, here I'm climbing, and I have this bulge. I just rested for a minute, and now I'm about to be able to pull over this thing. <laughs> with a beast whale move and a basically get her done attitude. <laughs> There's some rock There's coming rocks. down. <laughs> Gotta get that picket out of the way. Gotta get the rack out of the way. It's a very awkward spot to be in. And now here I am poised on yet another awesome little piece. Nice work, Ben. <laughs> and then that night, I believe we cut out a ledge and some crazy stuff happened. Uh -huh. It was a beautiful day. We've um, had one of our tent poles snap when we went to put it up the other night. That was a lot of fun. And then we have another one that's um, bending the complete opposite direction. It just happens to be right here behind me. If you could tell, you know, a tent's not supposed to look like this. And um, <laughs> we're sort of just hanging out. <laughs> Pretty much from my knees down, we're just sort of hanging in the abyss, a bunch of chunks of ice and snow. And um, most of the night, last night, we um, Ben and I, we pretty much held up the tent with our bags. Gnarly. <laughs> Sleep last night. He definitely needed it. Sleep anywhere. Yeah, my chore is yeah. Of the moment is water making. An important chore. One thing we never ran out of was water. Done inside the tent and it's blowing so we can't ventilate a whole lot. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do because it's like water, air, water, air. <laughs> I remember that night going to bed, or finally sleeping after like laying there for hours with Josh, who you're looking at on camera right now. We were crampled up, you can see we're just laying like lengthwise, like our. our Widthwise, I guess, across this tent. We don't have any room. Um, a little bit of a snowstorm coming in. Yeah, big weather. So we're laying there all night. And I remember at dawn, finally falling asleep, uh, just slipping away and being like, you know, I don't care if this tent blows apart. <laughs> I am through with, with the struggle. If it blows apart, I'll handle it at that moment in time. And threw in the towel. I stayed up, <laughs> held up the tent, because I was afraid that zipper right up there was going to blow out, because I was laying up against that all night, too. Yep. And um, if that zipper blew out, I would have taken a big ride. <clears throat> yeah, gnarly spot. A ledge. And when I say chop out, I mean an as on a ice pick and shovel. Shovels really didn't do anything. We um, chopped away at blue ice and um, made a ledge. For three hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
at the top of the climb, after that rock climb, we had another thousand feet of ice to climb to get to the point where we could chop out that ledge and put this tent. It's and it's classic big mountain climbing where we were like, I, there's a there's a ledge up there, we can see it, and then you get up there like, oh, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's we're gonna have to work on that, modify that uh, that ridge line a little bit before we can sleep there. <coughs> so we're trying to vent ventilate the tent as much as possible, and. Um, I don't know, maybe we can see something. See the wind stops. Ooh. Look at that beautiful view. Let me zoom into that. Oh, see you that see view? that? You see that? That's mm. 2,000 feet straight down. You can't see that for the viewers at home. Yeah, I mean, our campsite is perched. But little did we know at that time, this is day one, after night one, we're going to spend five nights up there. And th this was going to be the storm of the season. I'd rather go that way because there's the ice fall over on that side too. So if the fall doesn't get you, the ice fall over. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a fun day. Just hanging out. I think I got half an hour worth of sleep. I think you guys probably got about the same. Yeah. John probably slept 12 for all. <laughs> 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 oh, dude, no mercy. <laughs> so he's doing sleeper. good. He's doing good at altitude. We all pretty much are. We just have to try to eat some stuff and. I want some water. Trying to get our Cajun chicken fix. Mmm, Cajun chicken fix. This is where all food started to really taste like just total shit. <laughs> yeah. You keep on adding that time. So we're supposed to wait a really long time. 13 times 4 roughly. Yeah, 21,500 feet. Not the best spot for cooking chicken. No. Especially chicken with rice. Mmm, rice. Yeah, I'm fixing my hair. <laughs> 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 Yesterday, we came up from about 20,000 feet and then hit a big rib, which was really cool. We had called my dad earlier in the morning and got a uh, weather report. Once we got that weather report, we knew we were racing against the storm. So Josh read or led a very long block upwards, which was really cool. And then uh, we hit a nice little rock step, which had some fun technical climbing in it. And then after that, we got onto a very long fin of snow and ice called an arete and pretty much rode that thing all the way up to where we are now and it was absolutely freaking nuts up <laughs> I think that sums it up yeah. yeah conditions were just coming at us and we were just pretty much hanging out freezing cold and I think uh, once we got into the tent last night, we did spend about three hours chopping on a ledge yesterday, which was a long time because it was mostly ice and we are perched on a pretty exposed spot to the wind, to the snow, to the elements, to the, out, to the right, to the left. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty awesome place to be, but at the same time, not a place I want to spend another night. We're or like, you know, four more. Four more. Yeah. <laughs> Minor detail, minor detail. Yeah, I mean, not that I wouldn't, but I wouldn't want to. Very easy to sleep up here. We're at about 21,500 feet, and nothing we see. Josh was pretty much our tent hero, because he, was, he kept, since he was right next to the door where he could actually Dude. get out of, he kept going out and fix the tent, put the rope over it, chop a little bit more. Pretty righteous job. And uh, we should be able to top it out and then head on out of here ASAP, because the wind and the jet stream and all those things are pretty much every single day hitting us at this point here at this altitude and our best bet is going to be just to get up, get over, finish this route and get that ski to send on back down to Cheese Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We get to the summit tomorrow, the next day is somewhere in there, we just need a break in the weather and uh, we are... Yeah, this is yet yeah, like probably day two of sitting there. It'd be nice to get moving, definitely I'm done with hanging around in a tent that you can't get out of. But welcome to the Himalaya, I guess, so. Yeah, you can't even go uh, take a poop or piss. You can't leave the tent. We're stuck here until it's not windy. Which could be a while. Yeehaw! <laughs> Loving life. Loving life. Loving life. No, no wind to follow them. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're just <laughs> losing it. <laughs> singing. singing. <laughs> Some King Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's why you nice don't pipes, use John. You nice don't pipes. use a stove in the in this tent for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe we need a oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. Oh, what a nice little step down. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Ropes are all splayed. We are still stuck here in the Good Times Clubhouse at 21,500 feet. This is day three, coming up on night four of pretty intense weather. <laughs> yeah, pretty. You can still hear the wind, you can still hear the snow. And uh, we've occasionally caught a couple of breaks looking down valley today. Looks like it's dumped. You're probably a couple of feet up here, maybe a foot, you know, eight inches down valley in base camp even. So maybe like two feet. Just keeping an eye on it. <laughs> we plan to break out of here. <laughs> like six up here. Summit as soon as we actually finally get a break in the weather. We're not really sure when that's going to come. Um, you know, usually every expedition I try and call my dad and, and try and uh, just connect with him every day and talk about weather. That's one of his favorite things to talk about. Loves so he, weather. He helps us out a lot Loves on it. that. But this expedition, the weather is weather weather kind of difficult to predict. Pretty good. And, uh, it's pretty dang accurate. You know, we're yeah. sitting up here. We're pretty sure at some point. We didn't like that at this point. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. It right. doesn't matter how everybody. Right. Well, <laughs> what we got <laughs> here <laughs> is we've got some clouds <laughs> moving in on you, some wind. And we're like, oh boy. <laughs> like, I think around 3.30 a.m. you can start moving and you have a wind at 6. <laughs> and like, it's like, that's great. That'll give us enough time to get the tent down. Yeah. Can you move then? Uh, no, like, we'll have to abandon everything. Out. So the law of averages says the higher you go, the worse you get. Uh, but I actually think maybe I'm, I'm on to something. So maybe if the, the real wheat from the chaff test is going to be getting to base camp and see if I can whip some ass on him and Josh down there. If I can't, well, I'm just going to have to bring him back next year and try and play him up high. <laughs> Yeah, we, I think we have a new duel coming up here in a week on Barunse on the other side. John and I are going to continue our Texas Hold'em tournament. Himalaya <laughs> <laughs> rules, baby. Yeah, I was going to say, who's <laughs> rules? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys kicked the shit out of me when we got to base camp at Texas Hold'em. I was right. The higher you go, the worst player you are. Um, He's getting dreads. <laughs> He's getting dreads. John, look at me. It's all about the Whoa. dreads, man. It's all about the dreads. <laughs> You're just jealous. <laughs> it's all about the dreads, he says. The man, the myth, the legend. Best out of all of us, but... Nothing that we're super concerned about at this point in time. Uh, I think he's sure. the funniest. <laughs> he is the funniest. <laughs> we did come up with his name. Instead of John Miller, it's Dreadlock John Miller. It's like an Irish pirate. <laughs> <laughs> John, did you get a haircut John for this trip this year? No, it's actually oh. longer. Mm. Should be rather enjoyable. Yeah, this year he was hoping that if anything happened at altitude, he could just Rapunzel. And that <laughs> John, you better watch out. You'll wake up and John, and, um, Ben will be cutting your hair off. <laughs> yeah, wrapping it together and yeah. wrapping up from it. Like, we just need a sling, dude. <laughs> Use outdoors only, but... um. Keep children away from appliances. Can't, can't really go outdoors right yeah, now. Open that window up for a second. I mean, it's actually nice right now. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> nice. This view we've had in a while. There's a mountain out there. It's starting to break up. At least we're higher than one summit somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> go back to some footage that shows you what that mountain looked like when there was not snow. It looked brown. <laughs> mass. So it that's about like as far fall. as we can see. Sometimes Lotse out some there. Lotse, South Face. Way, way out, out there. there. But uh, yeah, we think it's going to break up soon and <laughs> it's going to resume to normal. Yeah, normal. We're going to probably climb this mountain. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. And dreadlock In the meantime, we'll hang out in the tent. Be there. Oh, yeah. Bigger oh, yeah. sleeping Dude, space, you're bigger. Freaking trooper, man. Welcome to the Himalayas, buddy. Welcome to the Himalayas, all right. <laughs> Like, it's a bitch. Just saying it like it is, boys. Just saying it like it is. I made a pact today that I'm going to go home and I'm going to sit on the porch, grill some turkey burgers, read the New York Times, and sit with Nala and Annie, my wife and dog, and we, we are going to actually chill out. <laughs> we did. It's been a very hard trip. It's a big time. Uh, feet getting up and over this mountain putting up a new route which we've done most of the hard stuff on it now We just got a couple thousand feet to go So we're not really in a position to reverse our way out of here mm. Prophetic so words uh, right. Yes tell you what, I've never felt more uh, emotionally distressed Hell yeah. Sort of ready to move. We knew John was sick at this point. The longer we sit here, like a and I think that we also knew there was a lot of fresh snow. Warm ourselves this was one of those things that could have gone totally really bad had we not kept our shit well, together. The more going to the summit doesn't sound that painful. Ditto. <laughs> 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 That's all I we, we were just so stir-crazy at this point. Um, 
One of two things is going to happen. One, we're going to get out of here. We'll go up or down, however we have to go. Two, these guys are going to push me through this door that I've been sleeping yeah. in all night long. Fortunately, it was more one than two. cozy position I've been in all day. It's right here. But the key is, from climbing, you know, there's always backup. So, because we have the one zip, I've been zipping up the other one. The screen at night, it's made make me feel a little better. I haven't been sleeping, but at least I've been climbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sleeping, but, you know, zipper's there. Yeah. It's nice. not, it's a comfort, comfort thing. Himalayan climb, everybody should try, try it at least once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, John. Oh, man. Time to do the it's great to look back on this now. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> In the moment, it wasn't so good. Just because I'm currently sitting at my 6,500 foot higher than I've ever been before. Man, I just look gnarly. <laughs> He's a strong climber. And a good dude. The two most important aspects of being able to pull it off. And I would be willing to trade a little of the uh, do a nice dude or strong climber for slightly better acclimatization. It but comes with experience. What do you mean? I felt like crap. <laughs> We've been taking it slow. I think hanging out is going to help you in the end. That's right. Well, dude, we are about to be cooling out on this one and you're going to see what happens on the next episode. There is ski footage to come, there's climbing footage to come, there's a whole story here folks and we're about to go relive it again. Uh, SkiTheHimalayas.com, check us out. Thanks for watching.